Hey, grade 11. So where we left off last time, we talked about different types of graphs, and we had just gotten to inverse relationship graphs, where there seems to be a relationship between the dependent variable A and the independent variable B, but it's hard to determine whether or not the inverse relationship is an exponential one, much like we talked about in this previous example here, a curved relationship, or if it's a linear one like we had talked about before, where it's a direct correlation between one over the independent variable, or some constant over the independent variable, or some constant over the independent variable squared, so an exponential function. So what we're going to be doing today in this video is just quickly going over how we can determine if a graph like this is directly proportional to its uh, inverse, or directly proportional to its inverse squared. So, this is a process that we call curve straightening. So it determines if an inverse graph is directly proportional to 1 over b or 1 over b squared. So if we have this graph right here, and this graph, as you can see, is 1, or a, sorry, dependent a, versus, versus b. So we, here's the data a versus b here. So in order to determine whether it is a um, directly proportional 1 over b or 1 over b squared, we want to manipulate the independent variable b, so we get the values 1 over b and 1 over b squared. So what I did here is you have the independent variable b equals 1. 1 over b is 1 over 1, which is 1. 1 over b squared, 1 over 1 squared, 1 again. And 2, in this case we have 1 over b, which is 1 over 2, which is 0 0.5. In this case we have 1 over b squared, which is 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 over 4, which is 0 0.25. In, and so on and so forth. So if b is 3, 1 over 3 is 0 0.33. If b is uh, 4, 1 over b is 0 0.25, and then 1 over 4 squared, etc., etc., etc. So what we can do is if we use these results and we graph them, if we look at the graph for a versus 1 over b, we see all that it yields a straight line. So what this tells us is that there is a direct relationship between a and the inverse of 1 over b. The inverse of 1 over b. So we can say that a is directly proportional to the inverse of b, a is directly proportional to 1 over b, because a and b, a and 1 over b, sorry, have a direct linear relationship. So from here, we can make an equation and we can predict what the next a value would be based on the 1 over b. However, if we have this graph here, which is a over 1 over b squared, taken from this data and graphed, so taken from this data and graphed a versus 1 over b squared, we get a curved line. Now this curved line, it doesn't yield a straight direct proportion. So we cannot say that a is proportional to 1 over b squared. We can, however, say that because it yields a straight line when we graph a versus 1 over b, that a is directly proportional to 1 over b. So any other measurement or any other proportion we want to make from there, we can extrapolate the data of a, and we take it versus 1 over b, and we can find our value for a for any value of 1 over b. Whereas, again, to reiterate, 1 over b squared, because this is a curved line, which doesn't really seem to be following any sort of linear pattern, it would be hard to relate a over 1 over b squared because there's no straight uh, line yield. So that's all I really wanted to go over for that. Um, again, I really want to encourage that um, to do these practice questions. So tell me what type of relationship is shown. Uh, write the proportional equation for this line. So the dependent variable is proportional to what? and then calculate the slope of this line. So again, rise over 1, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I really encourage you guys, as you guys go through this, to write down any questions so we can go over them in class and make sure that we can get this as hammered down as possible. Um, for further resource or further information, please go to uh, your SNAP notebook, so your SNAP workbook. Go to page 7 to 12 for more information on graphing. Thanks for watching.